The Tremoro Genealogy Workshop and Exhibit was a call to Tremoro family clans and interested participants to learn more about their own Tremoro genealogy. The event was co-sponsored by Commissioni Fino Tremoro and Mr. Bernard Ponzalon, founder and principal investigator of the Hale Tautau Hadza Genealogy Project. Mr. Ponzalon shared that the goal of the project is to contain as much accurate and relevant genealogy information on the Tremoro people of the Mariana Islands in one database. Ponzalon's database has over 400,000 names collected to date. In 2012, I think I talked about this earlier, but that's when it occurred when we were finally, I was finally able to, to write a report about the uh, uh, family clan names. And I was inspired by a gentleman um, named uh, Joseph Hoku Kaldan from uh, Saipan, originally from Rhoda. And he's a Chamorro teacher, I found out. And he started listing on his page all the Chamorro names, you know, family clan names within the, the CNMI. And I was really impressed by that. I said, I never did take time out to do, uh, to take a look at what I had in the database, right? I really don't know what I have in there until I run a report. So when I ran the report on family clan names, I was surprised. I said, man, I need to take this document, or the report that I ran for the Chamorro Roots Genealogy Project, and merge it with his. And then I said, wait, let's add more people. So I ran another uh, call on Facebook, you know, sent out to various uh, Facebook groups and asked people to put your family clan name, if you could tell me what last name it's tied to and what village or what island it's from. And if you know the history behind how that family name came about, please add that as well. So we do have, I call it a first report, but hope, I was hoping, that's like a pilot project, and I'm hoping another person could take that to the next level and continue on in you know, another volume, second edition, whatever you want to call it. But um, the family names and, and first name and nicknames, I think, is very important in our culture. Pontalon said that it's important to network in order to share resources with others that may have the information and the history you're seeking to save on subscription costs on some of the databases online, which can end up being costly. I created a Facebook account, and wham! It connected me with a lot of people. Once people started seeing what I was posting on the page, they started reaching out to me, asking for help. How do you do this? How do you do that? So when that started happening and I started gaining interest, I encouraged people to start building family page or groups. They started doing that. And they started their own network and community and started building uh, their family trees on that. It also allowed me to learn more about our culture through the practices of other people. Uh, in the back, I have a nick family, first name, nickname, dictionaries. It was, it was it was just a pilot test about, you know, a survey on um, Facebook to see how people, how many different nicknames people carry. Because I mentioned it in yesterday's presentation that names are dynamic. And I did the same thing with the uh, family clan, the Mangafan uh, tomorrow, not in tomorrow, uh, with that. And uh, it's, I published it, I had it published. I, I put a copy of it out on academia.edu. So I have it in different places. You can also find it on uh, chamorroroots.com. Participants were also encouraged to bring in their family trees, photos, and documents to share and display as well as bring laptops and tablets for a hands-on virtual experience navigating genealogy resources. The workshop consisted of guest speakers, Chamorro historians, and genealogists with pertinent resources to assist Chamorros both in the Marianas and abroad to have access to a centralized repository of genealogy information. Through this project, don't forget, like I said, I was kind of like enclosed until I started to learn more and who's who doing genealogy research. That's how I connected with Gillette. That's how I connected with Malia. That's how I connected with Polly Aaron. That's, I was just amazed, you know, I was so naive. Didn't, you know, I didn't think how far this project would go or how, you know, the roads that it would take me to in meeting other people. So the more I continued this, the more my circle kept growing with those who knew. And I started researching and reading their work. Ponzalan, through his work, has been able to leverage modern technology and harness the information and have the data readily available for other Chamorros who venture on this genealogical journey in order to discover more about themselves and their history. Ponzalan shared that it's our culture, after all, to do so. It's about reciprocity. It's about sensuli. For Buenos, Guauzi Polisuba.